beautiful Scorpios, welcome back to the channel. Lisa here with Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. Getting ready here to do your love reading. We're going to see what energy comes through here for you. What's upcoming in love. So let me just get here a few more shuffles. stuck okay thank you spirit what's coming in for my beautiful Scorpios and happy birthday Scorpio hope everybody is doing well let me know in the comments when your birthday is even if it has passed right so with that please show my beautiful Scorpios what's coming in for love for Scorpio Ooh, definitely seeing something happening here. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Got the Ace of Fire, the Three of Fire, and the Two of Earth. Okay. So I see an opportunity that's coming in, Scorpio. But there's something here with the Two of Earth. Okay. Now, it can be a decision. can be more than one opportunity here with this Three of Wands. Could be... I'm not going to say anymore. <laughs> could be quite a few things. It could be somebody where this has been an on and off connection so let's uh, get a couple shuffles we already did some pre-shuffles so with that please show Scorpio what they need to know in love what do they need to see what's upcoming for Scorpio more cards picking up strong cancerian strong um, strong virgo strong there's your energy scorpio bottom of the deck here we have three of pentacles okay you got the um Page of Wands, and you have the Seven of Cups. I'm having trouble picking these cards up. I feel there's something here around communication, or someone I feel that does desire you. It does feel like they want the opportunity with you with the Seven of Cups. You could tell me that you may question this person's motives or their intentions. You may have mixed feelings about this person. Um, that's why I'm seeing this two of earth up here. But I feel like two, there could be another person involved somehow, some way. But let me clarify this seven of cups. Okay. Well, yeah, you're going to hear from this person or you you may be seeing this person, but it definitely feels somebody who acts way too casual with you. I want to pull another deck. I'm just looking for that deck right now. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. I want to get one, one of these cards as well. This could be a new energy. Could be an Aries, a Leo, or Sagittarius. Okay. So this could be one of those per, uh, people that you may feel like they have all the perfect moves, but you're really questioning their intentions. They also come across very flirty, um, but you have the, the scales, which is balance, and you have the pomegranate, which is 
prosperity. So I feel like you're really questioning if this is if there's a future with this person. But maybe they have all the right moves, um, but they leave you questioning things. Okay, so you may be feeling that your intuition may be telling you that, it, and I feel like you may be questioning whether there's even opportunity here. Now with the three of fire and the knight of cups, you have the nine of swords and you have the knight of cups. Okay. Well, this, it feels like this person, whoever this person is, there's definitely some worry or can't sleep at night. It feels like maybe they need to save something. So tell me more about this Nine of Swords first. Tell me more about this Nine of Swords. Okay. You got the world or the globe and you also have the grape, which is blessings. It almost feels like and you have the Sphinx. I feel almost like Scorpio. This could be someone where things ended or maybe um, they are feeling like things are ending. That could definitely be if you're questioning the potential that, you know, you're, you don't know if there is even potential with this person. But it's almost like this person... maybe feels you are like wise to their actions got ancient wisdom yeah and you have release this is someone you let go oh yeah and energetic movement you have the snake i'm certainly getting that there is somebody this person here that i'm picking up that you question this person's motives yeah, there may be something that they did was deceptive here with the snake, but I feel like you you let this person go. And that's who I'm seeing, thinking about you late at night. Ancient wisdom. They know you are wise to maybe some of the things that they have done or maybe the games they have played. But it almost feels like maybe this person had to learn some sort of lesson. But tell me more about the Knight of Cups. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups. Okay, we have the castle. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups. You have the lobster. Okay, and the hammer, yeah. This person had some growing up to do. This is somebody who had, like I said, had to learn some sort of lesson so I feel like you release this person, you let go, you may have opened up your opportunities. They're showing up in your reading for a reason, whether you want them here or not, they're showing up. But there's something they wanna say or express. And I really, really feel here that they wanna work on things with you. See, it's that energy here, you got the leaf. And, you know, that can talk about turning over, I don't know, whatever that saying is, turning over a new leaf, right? But see, here's the two of earth. You have the hermit and you also have here the two of wands. Ooh, tell me more about this. Uh, I, I said two of wands, but it's five of wands. You have the key, reveal. Okay, so interesting. Something needs to be revealed. Tell me more about this hermit. Yep, the lantern, illumination, and the dog, loyalty. And you have renewal, okay. I really feel kind of with the dog and loyalty here. This person knows, right? Like I said, they acted too casual. They had all the perfect moves. It can be somebody flirty. I definitely get a very casual energy there. So this person, maybe they know, right? Because there's instability here. There's ice. Maybe you give it, you've given this person the cold shoulder. They know if they're going to even have the chance with you to work on things. They have to be more dedicated, more invested, loyal. Tell me why the five of wands is here. Tell me more about this five of wands. You have the fish, the bird, and the home. 
and the root they feel they feel they feel some sort of investment with you here with the roots there could have been some drama in the home you know that would only be if the two of you live together somebody found out something here scorpio we got virgo here somebody found out something here was there a third party involved here was there competition whether it's on your side or their side because i'm also seeing here the three of pentacles and the three of swords it does feel like there was some heartbreak here and we have the ten of wands okay so i feel like there's some heartbreak here because there was some drama there was a third party situation tell me more about this chariot energy cancerian energy tell me more about the chariot butterfly and the star and you also have here okay armor this is somebody you set boundaries with um, because you have the star this person wasn't aligning with your energy so I feel like you kind of expanded your wings you surrendered you let go of this energy right because this person something had to change with this person that's what I said here turn a new leaf right you had to release that go because this person had some learning to do and uh, like I said you have boundaries here yep and you have the crown because I feel like your vibration you're in a higher vibration than this person this person was not in, aligned with your energy now hmm so I really strongly feel that you're going to hear from this person. Tell me more about what this person's upcoming actions are towards Scorpio. Hmm. And then you've got the lovers on the bottom of the deck. Well, I definitely get that this person's trapped in their head about you. They want to regain stability with you. I feel like with the sun card and the lovers, they want happiness. They see the potential with you. I do feel like this is somebody too who is also going with their heart here. Maybe too late. What else can you share about their upcoming actions? You know, I just, uh, with this energy, I mean, let me see what comes through. Hmm. You have the hangman and the page of swords. And the knight of pentacles. And I'm seeing the devil back here too. The strength card and the devil. You know what I get, uh, Scorpio? I feel like this person, now maybe some of you were already in a relationship with this person or you were married to this person. There's an energy here that you and this person have definitely have roots investment here. This person's coming back around and they're going to want the opportunity with you. I do feel like they're going to tell you that they want something long lasting with you, but yeah, because they're seeing things differently. Remember I said here, right? They had to learn some sort of lesson. They're seeing things differently. They want to fix things. Knight of Pentacles. However, what I'm going to say, I do get like a resistant energy from your person. Could be a Leo. You know definitely or an earth sign but i see this person moving slow because i see what the devil and the strength card here this is somebody who i feel they're very prideful i feel like they make their decisions based on ego okay and see this was this casual energy i get here now this could be somebody who involved you in some sort of drama third party situation remember third party doesn't always mean another lover okay so Scorpio, we're just going to have to ask what the potential is here because 
I don't know with this person. Thank you, Spirit. What is the potential here between Scorpio and this person? Well, well, it does show me this person's coming back around. They're hoping for another chance. They regret their actions of the past. You have the graceful dance. So this talks about lifting each other up during both high and low times, right? This is gaining uh, stability back. And then you also have here burning bright, the passion, keep the flame alive. It talks about sparks and warmth and intimacy. And then you have a sweet allure, embrace the unknown and let love bloom on its own. So I feel like Scorpio, there's an opportunity for you and this person. Like I said, there's the 10 of pentacles here. I feel like when this person comes back around, you're really being guided. Like, does this person lift you up? Does this, do you feel at peace with this person? Do you feel a sense of stability? Because I feel like in the past, right, that was very, very casual. I feel like they're saying here that if you are open to it, explore the connection, but kind of be in that energy of letting go. Um, you know, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. You know, um, you know, it, the, the universe, your higher power, it's about having faith that everything's working out for your highest good. But there's something here about you kind of just going with the flow and seeing how this plays out. Now, if you don't see, right, the stability you're looking for, you don't see that you feel at peace with this person, right, then that's where you're going to have to make a decision because I already see that you know your boundaries here. So, you know, you just got to enforce your boundaries. But I do see that there is potential for you and this person to gain stability back again in this connection or relationship. So I hope this reading helped you, Scorpio. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.